joining us from Node Studios and Flitz and Daniel Kim. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. And we are playing the new 007 Legends game live on the show right now. Where are we at right now in the game? We are in North Korea, I believe. <laughs> um, in a airplane field, it just exploded. There's no sound, so I don't really know what's going on. It's as if I'm a deaf Bond, but uh, <laughs> I am playing as Daniel Craig. So what do you think of the game so far? It's a game. It's, uh -oh. you know what, to you give it, play it, it's it's interesting, because you play through all the original, like, Bond levels as Daniel Craig, which I don't know if I agree with. Cause you don't like, feel good as Daniel Craig? Doesn't every guy want to be Daniel Craig? I, see, I dig Daniel Craig. Really? I think he's a great actor, but when I think of Bond, I think of Pierce Brosnan, honestly. Oh. So, he's Bond for me. Okay. What about you? I actually like Daniel Craig, because I wish I could be that sort of prestigious and handsome. Yeah, he speaks with That's a proper British about. accent. So GoldenEye was really popular for the N64. Oh, yeah. Right? And so what do you think about the game now for the Xbox? I see GoldenEye is kind of where a lot of the multiplayer like competitiveness started. Yeah. Uh, especially for me growing up. I used to always go to my friend's house and like, you know, land it up on N64. Uh, and, you know, the, the bar has been raised quite significantly since then. So I think, uh, I think this game's it's pretty fun. It's a little homage to the old school, but um, it's it's kind of dated, as you can see the graphics. Yeah, I was going to say I think they did a really good job uh, paying homage to Everyone the N64 though. version with these graphics. Uh, <laughs> I assume they did that on purpose. Take I can that only. As you will, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's it's fun though. I mean, it look, it's very old school Bond. -ish. Do you like playing games that are based on movies? No. No, no, not. No, I, I think it works better if they just have it as its own entity. That way you don't have to rush anything. And I feel like that's one of the things they tried to do with this, but it still didn't work out too well, and it feels like a movie game as opposed to its own entity. All right, well, you guys are doing Node Studios, which is the ultimate gaming channel on YouTube with a ton of people we love, like Freddie Wong and Toby Turner. So why should people be checking out the channel? What can they expect? Uh, they can expect awesome. Uh, <laughs> actually, we're working on a lot of really big stuff. I know a lot of, uh, because we have Toby Turner and we have Freddie Wong, we have them in the Node family, it's definitely one of those things where a lot of people, they expect, you know, the funny and fun of Toby Turner, at the same time, the awesome content that Freddie Wong produces. And one of the things that a lot of the people don't know is that we have an amazing team of video editors and actors and stuff like that behind the scenes. And we're planning on creating like some really friggin' awesome stuff. We fight love scenes, it. Fight scenes, shooting each other. You just died. I just got killed by a grenade that What's I don't know where it you? came from. Apparently everyone in this game has martyrdom, which is weird. All right, so pass it on to him. I okay, want to see here, him okay. play right now. We're going to go to the fan chat. Good What's luck. going on, Sandeep? Good luck. Hey, um, this uh, question is from uh, Made Up Name sixty nine. Uh, so this is for Daniel. Uh, what what does it take to become a pro gamer? Uh, what advice would you give to a young person who wanted to become a professional gamer? I would advise you to get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> professional gaming doesn't really pay the bills unless you're playing StarCraft or League of Legends. And if you are playing those games, that means you have to literally play like 10 hours a day. That's you're, You'll have no life. I mean, like in Korea, uh, it's really big, but they like have houses that they live in. That's all they do. They don't have any social lives. And now anything. people are translating that into a career with YouTube, right? Doing live gameplay and videos based on gameplay and, and that's more gamer lucrative. experts. Yeah. But um, can you translate that? You know, if, if you're passionate and you're a competitive gamer, into maybe a work on YouTube. It depends. I mean, if you're already established as a professional, yeah. Then people will come to you for tips and stuff, but. Generally, uh, I know I know a lot of pro gamers, and most of them all have day jobs because, I mean, you know, you just you have to always be playing that one game, and every moment you're not playing it, someone else is playing it and getting better than you. So it's like, you look at you just die. It's a grind. It's a hustle. You <laughs> die too. We, we what kind playing, of gaming wait, 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 experts wait, 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 wait. are you? We're playing on the hardest we're difficulty. We're playing on the hardest difficulty. So what is the hard, describe pros. the hardest difficulty? What, how how much harder is this than the other levels? We didn't play any of the other ones because <laughs> this is how we roll. I mean, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's like it's like it's like reading an instruction manual. Who does that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go continue to play Here, the game. You, you and Sandeep, what's going on in the chat room? Oh my God! Someone said uh, Toby's gonna annihilate Freddy. So does that does that mean something to you guys? I don't think that means anything I don't to anyone. Think they, they, okay. Well, they they are going to have a knife fight. Uh, okay. That's planned. No, I, I don't know what that means. 
Annihilate him how? Hopefully, he hopefully a... we can get him in the same room together and uh, do some cool gang stuff. Maybe for the next stream we do. Uh, we can, I think that's possible. Yeah, we It'd just fun. we just had a 12 hour uh, live stream for Metal of Honor, the beta. Very cool. And it was really cool. We had everyone stop by, like Freddie and you know. Like, Hannah Hart. Hannah Hart was, was there. A bunch yeah, of people. we love Hannah. She's been on the yeah. show. Traveler from Household Hacker. It's really cool. A lot of yeah. fun and uh, we're, we're thinking about doing another one soon. And, oh, there you go. We're watching it on the screen right now. That was your yeah. live stream. Yeah, boom, that's it right there. How, it do, you, how do you keep that interesting, a 12 hour live stream uh, game? We do, we do a lot of different things. Lots of monster energy drinks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lots of uh, energy drinks and just, I mean, allowing the talent to, to do be themselves and have fun while playing a game and just not not putting limits on anybody really for the most part um, about what we can do. We were talking it's, about the League of Legends championship before and how there were like so many people watching, so many people participating. Is that the future esports? Oh. Like we're gonna see more competitive games and programming like that? Definitely. Uh, well, before the League of Legends ones, it was the Dota International, which is what League of Legends is pretty much based on, and that was also a million dollar prize. And then now League of Legends had their international tournament, which was another million dollars, and those are the two biggest uh, biggest prize pools for any esports game ever. So I think it's like a new like benchmark in in that whole esports, and it's going to explode in America soon. I mean, it's already really big in Korea. So uh, we're gonna see TV networks jump on it too. Well, that's when the real money. Yeah, yeah that, that's exact. That's once it hits network television. You look at, you think about. I mean, I, I'm a break dancer as well. I say that because it's b-boy, but whatever. But you think about all the films with b break in and yeah. how many YouTube channels are popping up with break in. Once video gaming, professional yeah. gaming gets national coverage, television coverage, film coverage, then that's when you're like, okay, now it's the big time. Well, you guys aren't doing well at this though because you keep hey, dying. Hey, what's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I'm doing all right. I mean, I, <laughs> you doing who's better? Who's better, better at this game uh, or I in am. general as a gamer? I and no, there's no general gaming because when it I, comes to fighting games, yeah. that's that's my forte. That's your thing. And he's he's definitely the first person to shoot a guy. So yeah. we just have our own specialties. Yeah. yeah. What, what specialty do you need to have to play this? Be Asian. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> what? It helps a little bit. That's a bit of generalization, <laughs> right? It helps. A, it helps a little bit. Um, I, I mean, I've been playing first-person shooters since. You know, N64, uh, GoldenEye, and like Perfect Dark, and then I've just been upgrading since then. And it's just like I don't know, natural. It just feels natural to me since you know you've been playing it for so long. It's awesome. We're gonna go in the fan chat for one last question. Okay, guys, we got some good stuff in this chat room. Um, first of all, a comment from CT Fro MDC. Two people who sit around and play games all day, but they're pretty skinny. Way to go, what's that? <laughs> we, we cast our, our gaming talents here. How do you guys stay so fit while you play games all day? I don't know. I, well, I, 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 I guess there's lots of, lots of running around uh, at meetings. Uh, believe it or not, we don't sit around and play games all day. We actually produce a lot of original content. He does a lot of graphics. I go to a lot of meetings and uh, do a lot of video editing. Um, but it's really, it's about controlling your diet and making sure you get some exercise. We actually have one guy who just built a standing station uh, where he can work from so he's not sitting down all day. So, so it's, it's being aware. You can gamer too. You can, yeah, well, that's where if our cage If I really get into it, then I have to stand, like usually. I saw you were getting yeah. into that. So, I, do you want to break dance for us today? Do I yeah, want to be yeah, break dance while I play? While you're playing, well, I, let's see if you can distract him. I can. I can. Yeah. Is there a room? Yes, yes, go for it. Go, go, go. Impromptu go. break dancing okay. on sure James what's Bond trending. Thing, James Bond thing. Okay. James Bond theme break dancing. I don't want to break anything, please. Like equipment wise. So, Leslie, okay. while he's break dancing as okay. he's getting ready, yeah. your, your final review of wow. this game, 007 Legends, on what's trending. It's, Can I take this off, actually? Yeah. If you are a okay. big fan okay. of the old school GoldenEye and you want to just have a game to throw around with your friends when they come over, I think it'd be, it'd be fun. I mean, I think it's a little overpriced. It kind of seems like an Xbox arcade game to me in terms <laughs> yeah. of the graphics and like playability. But, uh, you know, honestly, it, it, it's not too bad, which is quite the review for a game. And, it's all and right. this is courtesy of Rad Nerd, who, who wanted to see this. So thank you, Rad Nerd, for being the chat. <laughs> There you go. Awesome. This is really, <laughs> it's really, it's really helping me out. All right, see more of fans. Check out more of their videos at youtube.com/slash.
Nude. And follow Flitz on Twitter at Flitz. And you're now on Twitter too. Yes, I am. What are uh, you? Uh, Cerberus Arms. Okay. Very complicated <laughs> and weird. There's no rendition of Daniel Kim on Twitter, period, anymore. Thanks also to Sandeep. <laughs> right over there. That's me. Check him out at Sandeep Parikh. Check all his shows out, The Guilds, at Geek and Sundry. And of course, he's right now on my damn channel.